I am and I'm gonna show you some of the artworks I've seen this second semester. First, from the University of the East Kalaban, where I'm studying right now. Second, from Kadi. I went there to accomplish some tasks for my organization. And lastly, from Kalaban City Hall, I went there to collect some information for our physical study. So, as you can see, here are the um, images of the videos that I will show you. Um, so, let's start here. So we're here now at the University of the East Caloca and I'm going, to use, I'm going to show you some sculptures. First is the bust of the Cerizal, but this is not my main point, um, so let's move forward. So this is a thing about the statue of Joel um, Pagin. The original one was made by Pugier 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 and as I said, this is just a replica. The original one is in the University of the East Manila. And um, the one that is this is a person named Ophelia Sanchez. So this artwork is inspired by art deck. As you can see in its architectural form, and also in this painting, you can see um, inspirations by art deco and also as said by the artist himself. This is a uh, artwork made by or used or made using art deck. So what I love about this is the simplicity and yet elegant design of its architecture and of course the background painting um, gives or gives an indication to its simplicity in life and also the view the view in the in the windows are just great for the simplicity of the art deco in its in its geogra geographical or so now let's move on to another architectural design or an interior design made by a U.S. New Ecological student. So as you can see here, this is this artwork is made using um, ancient Greek art as you can see in the in the furnitures. In the spacing also of the furnitures, it's just, it is also spacey and in the, in the ceiling, in the wall, and of course these spaces are also there are also implications of Greek art, but what I can notice is there is no implication of Greek mythology. We are in the cabin, and this is one of their paintings in the walls. As you can see, um, it is very evident that this painting is made using or by the moment of facing by the um, different colors in a very childish drawing, and of course, the black outline. There are three elements of facing in that painting. And for interpretation, um, it's very like it's a very lively painting, yet childish. Um, according to the colors, he used um, contrasting colors to stimulate or to add exciting effect. And the very um, the childish drawing affects a simple effect. is about the shell and its and its thick ones. In Caloacan City Hall and as you can see, these are auction figures, specific safari of Mugat Lawit, um, led by 
um, as you can see by Andres Bonifacio. Um, the COVID lobbying happened on August 23, 1986 and it is special for Talocan because Andres Bonifacio was born in Talocan City. So we're back here in Calocan City Hall. So this is another artwork. Um, this is just a replica of the artwork by Vicente Monsala. And as you can see, um, Bonifacio is here again and this depicts the start of the revolution. And for me, this is a very significant painting because this painting is also in my um, elementary school and I very love the painting um, because as you can see, it depicts the bravery of the Filipinos in the in the start of the revolution against the Spaniards. We're, we're here again at Calop City Hall, and this is the painting titled "Sa Aking Paglaki by Juanita Torres, graduate of Fine Arts College in La Spanias Laguna. And so, as you can see, the title "Sa Aking Paglaki" depicts the Philippine. It depicts the normal Philippine classroom, grade one to grade three, in an extravagant extra setting. And as you can see, there is some um, some ch doctor child here, and you can see the aspiration of children in our in our society. But also, you can see um, different types of poverty, such as the Carabao, which depicts the hardships of the Filipino, and some other depictions of poverty, especially in the faces of the children. artwork that I'm gonna present is just right here in our house and it is a wall painting or mural made by my sister and now we're going to eat so this is the mural or the wall painting made by my sister um, this was done with the help of our cousin it was made using the concept of pop art but it is the execution execution was not that great or maybe it is just too old um, she first made it in, using Photoshop and then translated it to the wall using an acrylic paint. As far as I remember, she used an acrylic paint. Um, this artwork and another artwork of her, which was a painting of eraser heads, are very significant for me. For those artwork triggered my artistic side that I must also explore the world of arts, not just accounting and analysis of numbers and but I'm not good with my hands so I just explored Photoshop and video editing softwares and as of today those skills that I have now in Photoshop and video editing softwares are very useful for me and for my organization so my sister um, my sister with these artistic talents or talents in arts um, helped me for my college life or help me in my college life.